I wanted to buy this land and burn everything on it to the ground. Some grand offering to source, like, here, take my childhood. May the tears in this soil hydrate you. Just give me peace. But it doesn't work that way, does it? Memories are persistent, even the oldest ones. And fire can't do a damn thing about it. The burning has to take place within. Peace can't be given, it's found. Love is not searched for, it's remembered. I remember. When I was a little girl, I was told that demons roamed this land. And that if ever they were to catch me, I was to say God's name three times out loud. I would take my machete and my purple Bible up into the mountain to pray. And while I never saw any fallen angels, there were humans that I needed hiding spaces from. So the deeper the water, the wider the willow, the better. Not much has changed on this land, really. I mean, it's still the same trailer park farm that I grew up on. It's home. For weeks, I have been planting all that I can. I painted the old barn house that my grandfather built. Jumped into the river. Lots of new music. Reacquainted myself with the flora. brought some sunflowers to my great-grandmother and told her how I got the farm back. I'm the fifth generation to work the same land, and she was very happy. And even though I am still very busy, I feel so much more relaxed here compared to the city. More in flow. The days are longer, less bitter. There's a richness I feel when I'm close to nature. It's a spell of sorts. The magic of connection, the distortion of time. I think this land remembers me.
I know that the trees talk. When I left the city, I was long past ready to leave. Way too many sleepless nights. You see, I tried ignoring my soul's craving to get out for years, but my soul just got louder, angrier. I know the city feeds some people. The hustle makes them feel alive. The concrete holds their weight. There are worlds 40 floors high. I've seen what it can do for some people. And I know the view was pretty from my sky-rise apartment when the sun bid its farewell, but I never made the time to watch it fall. I was always working. It's funny, the things you can become addicted to distracted by. So I was overdue for a change. I had been dreaming about growing my own food, sitting in the West Coast trees. Hearing my voice echo off the mountains that I used to climb as a kid. I even missed the sound of the coyotes at night. realized that I don't want to burn away my past anymore. If anything, I just want to burn away any part of me that isn't true, that doesn't feel real. I don't want to live for my ego, for others, for a broken society. Instead, I want to answer to the call of my soul, to feed this deep desire I have to reconnect to nature, to stillness, and to self. I didn't need to be on my childhood farm in particular to do that, but I'm so grateful that it worked out this way. That's why I'm gonna be calling this chapter home. is where the soul is, where the true self lies. And I am so happy to be back under this part of the northern sky. <laughs>